Hey students, today I'm not going to teach you. Rather, I'm going to tell you an interesting story of Dolly and how she was produced. So, Dolly was produced by a process called cloning. Cloning, it is a process of producing identical copy of organisms. So, let us begin our interesting story. At the Roslin Institute of Edinburgh, there were a few great scientists like Ian Wilmot. They successfully performed an experiment of cloning for the first time on animals in the history. And this animal was a sheep named Dolly. Dolly was born on 5th July 1996 and she was the first mammal to be cloned successfully. Now in the process of cloning Dolly, a cell was taken from, um, from the mammary glands of sheep 1. It was the Finn Dorset sheep. Now from this cell, the nucleus was separated. Side by side, an egg was collected from sheep 2, which in here is the Scottish blackface ewe. From this cell, from this egg cell, the nucleus was removed. Now the nucleus of sheep 1 was inserted in the egg cell of sheep 2. This nucleus this fused cell, let's say, it was allowed to develop. It was allowed to divide and develop into an embryo. And this developed embryo was implanted in the sheep too. Now, this implanted embryo, it was developed or it was allowed to develop naturally. And over a period of time, the dolly sheep was born. So, though dolly was given birth by the sheep too, but surprisingly, it had all the characters of sheep 1. It was identical to sheep 1. Can you tell me why so? Well, this is because the nucleus was taken from the sheep 1. That is from the Finn Dorset sheep. Since nucleus contains all the chromosomes of a body, these chromosomes, they decide the characteristics of an individual. So here also, the dolly sheep, it got all the chromosomes from the Finn Dorset sheep and that is why it was identical to this Finn Dorset sheep. So the dolly, it was a very, very, you know, healthy young one and she could also produce a few young individuals by natural means or by sexual means. But unfortunately, Dolly died due to some lung disease on 14th February 2003. This production of Dolly has brought revolution in the field of reproduction by cloning. Since then, several attempts have been made to produce cloned animals. Although some of them, they you know, die before birth, some of them, they die soon after they take birth and many of them are found to be severely diseased too. Now you know how Dolly was produced. But you'll be surprised to know that this process of cloning, it is a type of an asexual reproduction. Can you find out how?